What's going on Tackle Warehouse fans? Jake here bringing you this week's episode of What's New Tackle Warehouse. Getting to the end of September. Hopefully the weather's cooling down for you and the fall bite's starting to kick off. This is one of the great times of year to get out and chase school and fish. So we got a bunch of stuff from Lucky Craft. Some of the things that we got here is re-release stuff, stuff that we've got back we used to carry in the past. Super happy to get it back in stock. And we do have a new item in there as well. So the first two, a couple lipless crankbaits. So these are lipless cranks we used to carry. And if you're a diehard Lucky Craft fan, you're gonna be happy these are back in stock. So the first one is the LVRD series. So this is the size seven. Um, you know, it's similar to the LV500, but what's different about this lipless crank that Lucky Craft makes, it's a little bit thinner. So it has a little bit tighter vibration and the rattles inside, it's a little bit higher pitch noise than the LV500 as well. So. You know, a little bit wider body, so just a little bit different action. It's really good for fishing in shallow, shallower water than the LV500. It goes over the grass a little bit more efficiently. So if you're waiting for these things to come back, or if you're just down to your last one in your box, you can fill back up and restock now. And the next one is the LV150. So this actually has the same profile, the same wide head design as the LV500. It has the same noise as the LV500, a little bit deeper of a pitch, a little bit uh, they have some bigger ball bearings up in the head, so you kind of get uh, a little bit more of a knocking noise in there. But this is just is exactly just a smaller toned down version of the LV500. So um, if you're looking for a lipless crank, especially this time of the year during the fall, you get those young of the year shad, um, you know, little crankbaits and little lipless crankbaits and stuff like that. This time of the year really shine. So if the regular LV500 is just a little bit too much, a little bit too big of a profile, you need something smaller. You can fish this a little bit slower because it's a little bit lighter weight. LV150 is going to be the way to go. Another one that we've brought back is the old G Splash Popper. So this is the G Splash 80. This is a great popper. It's got an oversized lip on it and it's a little bit protruding on the top there. So it sprays a ton of water and it's got this tapered tail and it's relatively you know, bigger in size. It's a little bit around three inches. So you can actually walk this bait a little bit bigger than most of your poppers out there. And one that's actually a fully new addition to Tackle Warehouse is the same popper, that G Splash 80, but this is the RT model, which means the rattle in. So a lot of Lucky Craft baits, they have silent and RT models. The you know, RT always stands for rattle in. This rattle in popper is super loud. So if you're looking for a popper that's loud, this is the one you want to look at because it's got multiple rattle chambers. It's got regular just ball bearings and a big one knocker in it. So it makes you know, a ton of racket, you hear that big one knocker up there in the front. So it just, it's loud, it spits, it chugs, it pops. Um, you can walk the dog with this thing. You know, they come right out of the box, feather treble on the rear, uh, just tremendous poppers ready to go right out of the box. If you're looking for something that's got, wants, it's got even more action. This is another one that we used to carry bringing back as well. This is the T Splash 80. So, you know, same design as the other G Splashes. It's a little bit smaller. This one's a 70 size, but as you can see here, there's a lot going on. We got two feathered trebles and a blade on there. It's got rattles in there. So, I mean, you're gonna get rattling noise, popping, chugging. We got a blade to spin on the back to spray water, make a little bit of flash, two feathered trebles. So if you're looking for just the ultimate in poppers, just something that totally stands out from all the other poppers everyone's throwing, that, you know, check out the T-Splash 70. All right, next up from Mega Strike, we got this new Mega Strike Beater Blade. This is a new vibrating jig. As you can see here, it's got this pivoting head design that they utilize on some of their spinner baits. And the idea behind this is not only is it gonna give your trailer a little bit more action because it's gonna be able to swing a little bit more freely, this is actually gonna allow the fish to suck in the hook and the trailer a little bit easier because the pivoting head. If you just have a rigid hook, um, when your bait's moving, you might pull the hook away from the fish when they go to bite it, especially if they're short striking. But with this pivoting hook, when the fish goes to bite and they suck in, they have that vacuum effect, it's gonna pull the hook towards their mouth and you're gonna increase your hookup ratio um, and catch more fish. Especially the times, of the times of the year, there's a lot of fishing pressure when the fish are short striking or just not fully committing to the bait. You might wanna check this one out from Mega Strike, the new beater blade vibrating jig. All right, we got a couple of new terminal pieces from Owner. These are actually, Super cool pieces. So this first one is their new darter offset jig head. I know it's just a darter head, but it's super cool because it has an offset hook on it. There isn't hardly any other darter heads on the market that have this offset hook. So you're gonna get a completely weedless profile. There's certain times of the year where the darter head is just really hard to beat. Put your favorite little worm on there. Um, you know, out here on the West Coast, on these deep, clear reservoirs, the darter head is just 
deadly certain times of the year. Um, this is going to allow you to fish through, you know, wood and brush and stuff like that. You know, any kind of snaggy terrain that you might be fishing out, especially in deep water. Um, you know, instead of running the exposed hook, now you got a fully weedless profile and it's got a premium owner hook on there. So you're gonna have no problem getting great hook sets, even with light line with this starter head. So if you're looking for a new weedless starter head, look no further than the owner offset. The last one we got from owner is this new owner Akai light wire hook. So it's a small mosquito type drop shot hook. What's unique about this hook is, you know, it's forged, at a, it's forged steel, so it's super strong. Um, but what's awesome about it is it has a little bit bigger of an eyelet. It's got an oversized eye. This is actually the hook that Bill Wyler was using uh, when he won the Bassmaster event up at St. Clair. Uh, and what's cool about that oversized eye is when you get those really, really small drop shot hooks and you're trying to run your line, uh, you're trying to run your line back through the eyelet to get your drop shot hook to stand out straight, have a proper drop shot presentation. It's really hard with those really, really tiny hooks to, you know, to feed that line through. So if you got bad at eyesight and it's just, you're using maybe a little bit thicker line, maybe you're using 10, you know, eight, 10, 12 pound test with your drop shot with a really small hook. It's hard to fit that line back through the eyelet with, you know, with the knot already tied on there. So this hook solves that problem. You know, super sharp beak point on there, just like all the owner hooks, they're razor sharp and you, you just hook tons of fish with them and they don't come off. All right, next up from Vicious Line, we got a new clear version of their ultimate copolymer line. So they've already made a premium copolymer. It uh, doesn't have a lot of memory in it. It's super strong, extremely abrasion resistant as well. It's great about copolymer. But they've only, they used to only offer it in the, the moss green. Now we have it in the clear color. So if you're a big fan of that line, but you just needed it for a, cle you know, a clear color for maybe clear water lakes, they got you covered now. All right, from Manifold Swim Baits. So for all the swim bait junkies out there, swim bait season is just right around the corner. And we got a couple new ones straight out of Japan. So just some background, Manifold is a premium leather company straight from Japan. They make you know, high-end leather accessories and you'll figure out why here in just a minute. But this first one, is their new Castellon swim bait. As you can see, it's a small bluegill profile. And these baits are made to catch, they're developed for catching those big bluegill eating bass in Lake Biwa. Um, you know, if you're familiar with some of the world records that have happened in the past or the, the Tide world record, there's been some giant bass come out of Lake Biwa and they've been caught on bluegills. So this is made to mimic those bluegills and Unlike any other swim bait I've ever seen, um, it has a unique joint design. So it has four joints, but they're not all perfectly in line like you would think. So there's vertical and horizontal joints. And what that does is it allows all these pieces to move and swim together way more naturally than you would with all your joints in line. So it has a little bit different, a little bit different of an action and more fluid movement. In addition to the joints, it has three separate line ties on there. So you can you can tie on to all the different line ties. You can even add a weight to the bottom one if you want to, and you can change, completely change the action of this bait no matter what you want to do. So you can do all types of different retrieves of this. You can fish it fast, slow. You can twitch it. You can rip it, you know, like do small twitches. You can rip it super aggressively. It's perfectly balanced, and you're just going to get, you know, something that the fish have never seen before. All right, and next up, we got their new glide bait series. So they've got two different sizes and two different models of the glide baits. These are the big ones. So these are Manifold's new glide baits. And like I said, they make premium leather, they make premium leather products in Japan. And these are made from leather. So there's no other baits I've ever seen that are made, you know, wrapped in a leather material. And if you're gonna purchase one of these baits, you need to really read the full directions on how to properly use these things so there because there is some specific instructions so uh, when you go to fish it you need to let it sit in the water for a minute and fully absorb some water because that's going to affect the buoyancy of this bait and affect the way that it swims and affect the action um, also there's some uh, some storage tips in there that you need to follow so you don't you know ruin the leather so this is wrapped in a premium horse hide stitched all the way around um, what's cool about the leather is it it has some pretty unique properties that, that are a little bit different than your traditional ABS plastic. So one of them is it's going to maintain the temp, it's going to maintain a closer temperature to the water than a plastic would. So that when a fish comes to bite it, it's going to be the same temperature and relative of the bait fish that they're eating. Secondly, the leather has just a different texture. So it's going to feel more natural like a fish when a fish goes to bite it. 
Um, with the different models, there's the regular glide bay and then there's this Yugo frame model. With this frame on the front, you're adding a little bit of weight to the front, so it's gonna have a little bit different of a gliding action. But when this frame comes into contact with cover, it's gonna allow it to deflect a little bit more erratically. And all these holes on here are set up to where anglers can add different size casting weights to you know, adjust the running depth if you wanna fish it super fast and deeper. You can add different size weights in different positions and, get, and just achieve different sink rates and different actions all the way around. Um, there's no hooks on this at the moment, but it does come with three premium treble hooks in the package so you can set them up in whatever configuration you want. This is the larger of the two models. I believe they're thir a little over 13 inches and they come in at 11 ounces. The smaller bait is, I believe, 10 and a half inches and I believe it weighs nine ounces. So large baits, you know, this is a fully dedicated, uh, you know, dedicated um, presentation. You need heavy duty rod, line, reels, everything to throw this stuff. But we all know out here on the West Coast, there's all kinds of dedicated swim bait anglers and we know they're gonna wanna get their hands on these and try them out. Next up from Daiwa, we've got a bunch of new reels. So the first one here is their new Tatula CT reel. So the Tatula CT has just been a phenomenal reel. I believe it comes in about 129. And with the CT model, it means compact, so you're gonna get a little bit more compact reel than the regular Tatula. Um, if you just like the more compact reels, you got smaller hands, uh, you definitely wanna check these ones out. Um, I've personally used a couple of these for years and I've had tremendous success with them. They, they last a long time, they perform really well. They got the T-wing system on there. So if you're familiar with the T-wing system, it just opens up that, that line feeder and so you get great casting distance. Um, they got the ultimate tournament drag system on there. They got their 20 position brake on the side. Just great reel, pretty hard to beat for 129 bucks. Next up, another reel that's really hard to beat for the price. So this is the new Laguna LT model. So they've upgraded the Laguna. It's now in the light and tough series. It's got the digi gear in it, so incredibly smooth. When I pick this reel up and pull it out of the box and put it together and start reeling it, if I would have picked this up off a shelf at a normal store, I would have guessed it's well over a hundred dollar reel, but these come in at 40 to 50 bucks. I have a bunch of Daiwa spinning reels in the, in the lower price points and they're phenomenal for what you pay for them. I mean, 40 to 50 bucks, it's really hard to beat. Um, just nice, they upgraded the LT, so it's a little bit nicer, a little more tougher. It's got the digi gear in it now. Um, if you're just looking for a nice reel and don't want to break the bank, that's going to be the one you want to check out. And the next up from Daiwa is their new Procyon AL. So phenomenal looking reel. See it has this brushed aluminum look because the AL stands for aluminum. So now you have a full aluminum body, so it's super rigid. You don't get any flex or anything in the stem. Um, it's just a rock solid reel. It's got the digi gear in it, in it as well. And with the aluminum body, everything is just in precise alignment. It's got the air bail, so there's less inertia on the bail when it's spinning. You know, super easy to reel, super comfortable. And when you pick this one up, even compared to, you know, a same size Laguna reel, when you pick it up and feel how light it is, you realize, you know, like where that, your extra dollars are going for just a light, compact, and rock solid, rigid reel. This one you can also use in fresh and salt water. So if you're looking for a reel, you can do a little bit of freshwater fishing, maybe go out into the bay, do a little surf fishing, or, you know, fishing docks for spotted bay bass and stuff like that. This reel can handle it, it's rated for salt water, so you can do both. They got everything from, a 2,000 all the way up to a 4,000 size reel. And they have some, uh, a couple models with higher gear ratios as well. All right, got a few rods for you here today. The first one is the new Ardent Apex Pro Series. So Ardent updated this Apex Series. They got an IM8, IM8 blank on here. Um, they got a Pack Bay Reel Seat cork handle. They got everything from a seven foot medium all the way down to, or all the way up to, I believe a seven five medium heavy, more of like a flip and stick model. Uh, you know, super tough, extremely sensitive rods, 100 bucks, um, you know, great rod, comes with IMA blank, pretty hard to beat for 100 bucks. And next up, we've got the new updated St. Croix Triumph series. So the St. Croix Triumph has been around forever. Um, it's one of the best selling rods of all time. And you're just getting a super well-built rod for, I believe, a 109 for the regular casting models. And then we have some two-piecers as well. Um, everything on this rod, it's got the, it's got the St. Croix SC2 carbon fiber graphite blank on there. Everything on this rod is precision aligned with, you know, laser alignment from the grips to the reel seats, the guides, all the way down to, I believe the labels are laser aligned on this thing. 
Uh, the grip, the cork is sandblasted, so it's super comfortable. It's got sea guide reel seats and then the sea guide um, guide system on there as well. So, uh, you know, backed by St. Croix's five year warranty. These are just phenomenal, super well built rods made in America. Um, you're just not going to be able to beat the performance and uh, the craftsmanship that they put into these things. I believe there's about it's 32 or 34 sets of hands that every rod has to go through when they're being built at the St. Croix factory. So, I mean, from top to bottom, everything's being done by hand. And, you know, there's, there's so much uh, precision and stuff that goes into making these rods. In addition to the regular casting and spitting, we do have the two-piece series. And then very soon, we're actually going to be getting the Triumph Travel Series. So, four-piece travel rods as well. So, if you're looking for a great series of rods, Hard to beat St. Croix. They've been producing phenomenal rods for years and years. So you're not gonna get any better performance for that price. All right, thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of What's New Tackle Warehouse. For more information or to purchase the product seen here today, make sure to click shop or the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, let us know in the comments which one of these products you're most excited about.